Welcome back everyone. Today we're making yogurt. I'm going to show you how to make a really easy and great soy milk based yogurt using the culture cupboard plant based yogurt starter. This starter kit includes a sachet of plant based thickener which you just mix through the milk as you're heating it and that helps to speed up the process and give you a really nice thick creamy consistency. The first thing you need to do before making yogurt is sterilize your equipment. So you need to sterilize your whisk, your pot and your yogurt jar. Then we get on to heating up the milk. I've got one and a half liters of good quality soy milk. You can use up to two liters. Add your milk to the pot along with one base sachet. This is your thickener. Whisk it through and then place it on a gentle heat to bring up to 85 degrees Celsius. Give it a whisk every now and then to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom and you don't get any lumps. Once it's reached 85 degrees Celsius or 185 Fahrenheit, remove it from the heat and cool it right down to below 45 degrees Celsius or below 113 Fahrenheit. If the milk forms a skin while cooling down, you can remove that and throw it away. Add the starter sachet to the cooled down milk and give it a really good whisk through. Then pour that milk into the yogurt jar, replace the lid and put it into the base of the yogurt maker. Fill up the water bath to the tall line indicator and place the yogurt maker cover on top. Set the temperature to 38 degrees Celsius and the time to between eight and 12 hours. Press confirm to start incubation. When the time is up, remove the jar and then place it into the fridge to chill and set for at least six hours. So there's our soy yogurt, another great plant-based yogurt for you to try for yourself at home. If you're interested, then this culture cupboard plant-based yogurt starter is gonna be your new best friend. You can get it for yourself online and do let us know what you think. If you give it a go for yourself at home, let us know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, then hit subscribe to see more of our recipes to come. If you enjoyed this video today, then give it a like for us and we'll be back really soon.